I read Unhinged Cain and Twisted Abel. So these two books are dark romance. I just throwing that out there now so that we are on the same page. Cain is amazing and Abel is crazy in his own right. Now these are two twins who happen to be psychotic serial killers who become obsessed with their own girl. So while these two brothers are twins, they grew up doing everything together. And I mean literally everything, even the most intimate. They went as far as going and getting the exact same tattoos. If one of them got hurt like a broken arm, the other one would do the exact same thing. You would think that this was the exact same person. That's how far they went to doing everything together. But given all of that, these two boys couldn't be more different. Kane is the perfectionist. He is very much so like attention to detail. He plans out everything. He's super clean. It's the attention to details for me. This man, nothing can be out of place. His brother has described him several times throughout the book as like a stick in the mud. Abel, on the other hand, is the most free spirited, all over the map kind of guy. And once his brain like starts thinking it's like an avalanche that sucker does not stop going he is very impulsive he is just able able is the friend that you've got to watch out for because you don't know where they're going to be by the end of the now on to the girls that these boys end up obsessing over kane's girl has purple eyes kane has a huge thing with eyes when i tell you he has a thing for eyes just make a mental note of that because it's a thing. It's a thing. So his girl is training to become an FBI agent. Her mom happens to be the lead investigator on the case for this community serial. Abel's target happens to have two different color eyes. Abel, once he sees her, he kind of understands his brother's thing for the eyes because I mean, that, that's so interesting, you know? It was like, it just immediately drawn. She is a street musician who's running away from a cult. Now, in these two books, the brothers do a lot, and I mean a lot, of really dark, messed up things. Again, this is a dark romance. Crazy stuff happens. So check the trigger warnings before you go in there. You know, if, if you have any triggers, just read up on those pages. I don't, I don't want you coming back here and saying I didn't warn you. 